Hello everyone. Welcome to Self Love You. I'm Jenna Ryan and I'm here today with another great video that will help you to grow and learn to love yourself more. And today's topic is how to not be a doormat. How to not be a doormat. Well, first of all, I want you to know that the term doormat is a very negative term. It's a derogatory term. And it is a term that you never want to use against yourself. No one wants to say that they are a doormat. However, there are those of us who understand what it's like to be a doormat because we allow ourselves, we take, we allow other people to put us beneath them. We allow other people to control us. We beg to be in the presence of people who are harmful to us and who are not treating us correctly. If this is you, if you are someone who allows other people to disrespect you, who allows other people to come in and out of your life without having boundaries, who allows other people to abuse you, allows people, stays with someone who's cheating on you, stays with a friend who doesn't obey your boundaries, doesn't, who continues to ballot, violate your boundaries. If you are someone who constantly finds yourself with hurt feelings and calling your other friends and saying, why is, this, why is this happening to me? Why is he doing this to me? If this is you, this means that you could be have some of the traits of someone who could be considered a doormat. I don't like calling anyone names. I don't think it's good to call yourself a doormat, but I do think it's good to recognize doormat behavior. Behavior where people are walking all over you. And instead of taking a stand, instead of standing up straight, instead of saying no more, you just allow the behavior to continue. Why? Why do you allow people to continue to hurt you? Why don't you stand up for yourself? That is what this video is about. I want to encourage you and motivate you to stand up for yourselves in those times when you're being pushed around. There comes a time where everyone who has been a victim of an abuser turns around and stands up and says, no more. That is all I am going to take. And I'm going to get up and walk out of this place and never return. There must be a point of no return in your heart. You must have that place that you know, that you know, that you know, that if people go beyond that place, that they have crossed the line and they cannot come back. If you want to be the person to stand up to the bully, to stand up to the narcissist, to stand up to the person in your life, who is pushing you around, bossing you around, disrespecting you, spitting on you basically, they could literally be spitting on you. If this is you, then it's time for you to say no more. I am worth more than that. I'm a valuable person. I know who I am. And it is not okay for you to treat me like this. And this is my line in the sand. And I am not going to let you go any further. When you feel like you are being pushed around, let me just tell you, you are being pushed around. When you feel like someone is putting you down, let me tell you, you are being put down. When you feel like you have no power, you don't have any power. So that's when it becomes time for a little voice inside your head to say, stand up, turn around and walk away. Just stand up, turn around and walk away. Do not tolerate abuse. Do not tolerate disrespect. Learn to listen to the voice inside which says, I am being violated. I do not like this. That is not what I want to do. You have a little voice inside that tells you when other people are treating you like crap. This voice will tell you loud and clear. You have to stop and listen to that voice inside and then begin to take action against the actions of others that are invading your territory. 
listen to your heart, listen to your gut, and then take action. Once you listen to your gut, I want you to write it down. If your gut says, I don't like being pushed around, I don't like it when that girl is touching me, grabbing me by the arm. I don't like the way that person is talking to me right in my face. I don't like the way that person is telling me how I should think. I don't like the way that guy is um, going and seeing his daughter every five minutes and, and using that as an excuse to not be with me like we're supposed to be. I don't like this. When you hear that voice, when you hear yourself say, I don't like this, it is up to you to say, okay, I heard you. That's self-talk. You become the higher self. You become your own higher self and you go, okay, okay, self, myself just said, I don't like this. And then you back yourself up. So many people, they, they, they experience this negative behavior, these violating behaviors, this behavior where they need to stand up and stop being a doormat. And instead of standing up for themselves, they continually make excuses and focus on the other person. If you want to stop being a doormat, you have got to pull the focus back on your true self. And you have to take action against the negative actions of others on your own behalf. And then, no matter what it takes, what you have to do, you have to write it down and read it to yourself and say, I do not like it when she borrows money and doesn't pay it back. Boom. I do not like it when he doesn't answer my calls. If, if that's how you feel, you need to trust your gut. You do not need anyone to tell you that you are okay in feeling how you feel. I'm telling you right now, you have a right to be upset. You have a right to take a stand. You have a right to push back and, 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 and I don't care if you've got five people around you telling you you're a fool. If that one little voice inside says, I don't like this, you have a right to walk away. You need to walk away peacefully. I know in the beginning, sometimes it's difficult when you're learning to set boundaries and you're learning to get your backbone. Sometimes it's difficult to stay peaceful. Sometimes you just want to, ah, and that may happen in the beginning. You may, you know, overreact and you may say, get away. Ah. That could happen in the beginning because, because you're not used to standing up for yourself. You're not used to setting boundaries. So you might come across a bit aggressive in the beginning when you're setting boundaries. You might seem a little harsh. Oh, well, it's better to be harsh and protect yourself than it is to just be it like a feather and let people walk all over you and take advantage of you. You've got to take a stand for yourself. Once you feel in your heart that something is off, that something is offensive, that you don't like something, you have to back yourself up with validation and action. Write it down. I don't like this. And then promise yourself that you're going to take action to protect yourself in the future. Doormat mentality. People who allow others to push them around do not realize your rights. You don't realize that you have a right to stand up and you don't realize that once you do all the happiness that you've been wanting, that you think by being, by being submissive, you think that you're going to be happy. But the truth is, is your happiness is on the other side of, of being, being assertive. Your happiness comes in being assertive and saying, no, no is a full sentence. No, I don't like that. No, I don't want that. No, that doesn't work for me. No, I need to leave. I need to, I'm, I'm, I'm not interested in that. No, no, I'm not going to go. I don't want to go over to that person's house. That person makes me uncomfortable. I do not want to stand by that person. No, no, no. And start honoring your true self honoring that little voice inside and start being a strong, assertive person. Now, technically, you don't want to be aggressive. You don't want to be aggressive. You want to work to be assertive, but you don't want to be submissive. You want to be assertive. You want to assert yourself. You want to say the word one time, no, 
and then walk away. Be prepared to back up your no. Be prepared to validate your own sense of what is right and what is wrong. If you don't like something, be prepared to stand up and back yourself up. You have the right to say no. You have the right to not want to be hurt. You have the right to not go to someone's house if they are making you uncomfortable. You have the right. You are a whole person. As long as you're breathing, you're equal to everyone else. News flash. You're not less than. You're the same as. And you have the right to stand up for yourself. Get up off the floor. Stop letting people walk in and walk out. Stop chasing them as they're pushing you away. You have the right to stand firm. And let me tell you, if you think you have nowhere to go, just stay firm, stay firm, get around people that love you and that will treat you well. And even if you have to stay by yourself sometimes, that's the way it goes. It's better than being in a, in a snake pit where people are harming you. Get yourself in a position where nobody is hurting you anymore. And then stand up for that little voice inside that says, I don't want that. I don't like that and begin to speak if it's safe if it's not safe for you to speak you may need to go to a woman's shelter a shelter somewhere you need to be smart about how you get out of abusive situations and I believe that you are well on your way to being a strong individual a person who knows who you are and who operates in your God-given right to be alive and to be happy and to be free. And that is what I have to say to you today. And so thank you so much for listening. Please leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I'm Jenna Ryan. Until next time, I will talk to you soon.